welcome back to Home Boundless. My garden is pretty small and we are up far enough north that our growing season is pretty short. So that means I don't have a lot of room for error. <laughs> and so that means that I need to do the everything I can to protect every single plant that I put into the ground. The biggest pest that I have in my garden is squirrels. Squirrels and rabbits and sometimes even mice will come in and they will rip things out of the ground, they'll eat them to the ground, and I can lose half or even all of my plants overnight. Which when when you only have enough space to grow like maybe six heads of cabbage, losing half of them is a huge loss. So we're trying to minimize the loss and I'm not a big fan of things that you put down that you have to keep putting down after every rain. And I also don't like to put down stuff like Irish Spring Soap because I'm chemically sensitive. I understand why it keeps the rabbits away, but I can't handle that. So what I do is I make, <laughs> I make little cages for my plants. And this is the first year that I'm building these since we've gotten a miter saw. So <laughs> uh, it's kind of an experiment trying to figure out the best way. Um, but what I've done is I have cut a few triangles for the ends and then long pieces. And my top tip when working with hardware cloth is to use screws and washers because it makes working with hardware cloth so much easier. <laughs> Staples unless you have like a power staple gun maybe. They're just really hard to use and they can come up. The squirrels can pop them. But hardware cloth is nice and solid and if you put it in at a slight angle it'll pull the hardware cloth nice and tight. Now a lot of my other a lot of my other squirrel protectors I made using a larger whole hardware cloth or even chicken wire. But these I really wanted to do the small one because I wanted to use them to cover my corn. And so instead of just worrying about keeping out the squirrels and the rabbits, I'm also trying to keep out the mice. So that's why I went with the quarter inch hardware cloth because we want to make sure that it is as difficult as possible for the mice to get through. This is my three sisters bed. In this I am planting some sweet corn. Now this sweet corn is an early variety that could have and should have gotten into the ground earlier but I just <laughs> I just didn't have a very good spring and I didn't get everything done and they needed to. And we are also adding in beans and I think I put in too many beans but I think that's also largely because I didn't have as much corn germinating <laughs> and growing as I would like. And then I also added in some spaghetti squash that had already started. First spaghetti squash flower. You can see from the bottom of the flower that this is a male. Usually it sends up male flowers for a while before it sends up a female flower. So this is the first one, but we're not going to be getting any females for a while. Uh, let's look. Yeah, I don't even see any female buds getting ready, but it's exciting that we're getting close. This bed. This bed is a mixed bag. This bed was going to be my three sisters bed with corn and beans and squash. And I planted so much sweet corn and some of, and I protected it pretty well. But then once I took the protectors off because they were getting too big, <laughs> I started to lose my plants. So I think I have 
maybe four sweet corn plants in this whole bed which I don't think that that is enough to actually get any sweet corn at least not for us we might get some poorly pollinated cobs that we can give to the chickens or that the squirrels will take from us but I have learned a lesson next year I will need taller protectors that can stay on longer if I'm going to do corn again <laughs> which I've never been successful with corn, but I think this is the spot. I think if I can protect them better that we can do corn here. We do have, yeah, we have, we have some corn. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it, it's going to be the 4th of July on Monday. It's Thursday now. <laughs> and uh, it should be knee high by the 4th of July. And I think we're almost there for that one stalk. The rest of them, no. But the good thing that I will say, one of the good things about this three sisters method is that the squash has really protected the corn that it was able to get to before the squirrels or the whatevers took them. So the squash that is, the corn that's growing up in the squash is fine and it's just, you know, just going to have to break free of them and it'll be fine. So I really like this method. I'm going to do it again. The other good thing about it is my, my child was looking at the bed and she said, wow, this bed is the best bed. It has the most food in it. And I had been feeling really sad about this bed because it doesn't have corn. But even though it doesn't have corn, it's still full of squash and beans and garlic. And we have some herbs over there and even a tomato and then along this trellis we have cucumbers and watermelon and spaghetti squash and yeah this bed is so full of food even though it wasn't what i wanted it to be it is still super productive and it's gonna be just so wonderful Ooh, spaghetti squash 